everybody and welcome to this special holiday edition of Cooking with Coastline. I'm Stephanie Boulay and I'm the Registered Dietitian for Coastline Elderly Services. I'm so excited to have you here today because we're going to be doing two very easy, very quick side dishes or appetizers for any holiday event that you may be having this season. The first recipe that we're going to be doing are rosemary pecans. They're sweet and savory and spicy, absolutely delicious and only takes a few minutes to make them. Uh, and then we're going to be making our own eggnog. And eggnog usually contains a lot of half and half cream. We're going to be using almond milk instead and significantly cut back the calories and fat, but all the while being so delicious. So let's get started. So I have some fresh rosemary here for our rosemary pecans. So I'm just going to start taking off some of the leaves here. Okay. So this re recipe requires about three tablespoons of fresh rosemary. But if you don't have fresh rosemary at home, that's fine. You can use the um, dried, that also works as well. Okay. You don't want to be using the stems of your rosemary inedible and not too tasty for your guests. Okay, almost done here. Okay, and I'm just going to chop this up. And here's a little tip, if your recipe calls for dried, a, a dried spice or herb, and you have it fresh, the trick is to use three times as much fresh as you would for the dried. Okay. I love the smell of rosemary. It really reminds me of Christmas. You know, it has that real earthy smell to it. It's just fabulous. But rosemary goes great on any kind of meat like lamb or chicken, pork. So if you were to buy some fresh, you could easily incorporate it into your other recipes. Okay, so now I'm going to use two tablespoons of unsalted butter. Okay, put that in a pan, melt that down. And if you were watching, watching your saturated fat intake, you don't have to use butter. You could use um, some recipes I've seen, they've used egg whites instead. But you wouldn't cook the egg whites, you would just mix all the ingredients together and pour it over your uh, pecans. Okay. Oh, I love the smell of butter. Ah, it's so good. All right, so now I'm going to be adding some uh, pink Himalayan salt. I like to use that salt at home. It's got some minerals in it, 80 trace minerals to be exact. And it's lower in sodium as well, which is always good. And I'm gonna be adding some coconut sugar. So here's that sweet part. And I like coconut sugar because it doesn't uh, jack your blood sugar as much as regular sugar does. It's lower on the glycemic index. And then of course, for our little spice, we're gonna be adding some cayenne pepper. Okay. Mix that up. Okay. Now I'm just gonna be adding my pecans. Oh, actually, let's add our friend Rosemary here to the party. Here we go. Okay. Stir that in. Okay. Now we will add our pecans. Here we go. You just want to evenly coat them. And now I have preheated my oven to 375 degrees. And these are gonna go in the oven for 10 to 12 minutes. How easy was that? All right. I'm always looking for new fun recipes, new ways to enhance a favorite. And we love nuts in our family. Okay, so I'm just gonna turn this off here. Put them in my pan. Make 
sure we get all that rosemary goodness in there. Okay. Oh, it smells so good. So delicious. And having this bake in your oven, your whole house is going to smell like Christmas. Love it. All right. So again, so 375 for about 10 minutes, 10 to 12 minutes. All right, timer and 10 minutes. There we go. Now, let's go make some eggnog. So I have some unsweetened almond milk. We're going to start off with two cups. Now, if you don't like almond milk, you can always use a low-fat milk as well. Here we go. So we start off with two cups. Next, we're going to be adding some cinnamon. Some nutmeg. If you have fresh nutmeg, that would be really nice too. Okay. Some vanilla extract. And then some honey to sweeten. There you go. And that's all we're going to be using to sweeten it. Some good honey. Go. All right. Oh, and we can't forget about our eggs. Now, don't panic. These are going to be cooked. We're just going to add them in here for now because we're going to be cooking them in a hot pan. Here we go. Woo. There we go. All right. And now we're going to blend this for two minutes. Okay, our two minutes is up. Everything is perfectly blended together. So good. Now I'm going to be cooking it on low for about 15 minutes because we want to make sure that all of that egg is cooked. We don't want any bacteria in our eggnog, okay? And you want to cook it until it gets to about 160 degrees. But if you don't have a thermometer, about 15 minutes should do the trick. Okay? And you want to make sure that you are staying close nearby because you don't want it to get too hot that your egg starts scrambling. Okay? Nobody wants scrambled eggnog. Gross! So, we're going to stir this for about 15 minutes. Okay, so it's been about 15 minutes that my eggnog has been on the stove top. And if you look here on the sides, I don't know if you can see it, um, but you can tell that it's been reduced. See how like the dark brown there? It's been reduced. So once I put it in the refrigerator overnight, uh, because some of that water has been cooked out, it's going to be nice, thick, and creamy for the next day. So good. All right, so now I'm just going to put my eggnog in my container here. Okay. okay, just gonna leave it overnight because you wanna make sure that it gets nice and cold and it'll thicken up really, really good. So I'm just gonna leave this, put it in the refrigerator. It's gonna be perfect for tomorrow. Okay, and my pecans are done as well. There we go. Oh, they smell so good. So delicious. And it hardly took me any time at all to make these. Your friends are going to be really impressed. Beautiful. So that is the end of our holiday special. Thank you for joining me at Cooking Healthy with Coastline. Be sure to check us out on YouTube. Just search for Cooking Healthy with Coastline. Or you can go on our website at coastlinenb.org to look at more videos. Take care and happy holidays.